What's up, everybody? It's the Pirate Stacker Tuesday coming at you. Numismatic challenge. Yes, my $10 numismatic challenge. I've got new coins. Week number three. Here we go. Uh, week two, Canadian dollar. Week or week one, week two was the Netherlands East Indies coin. Very cool. Both silver, which I'm trying to keep this in the silver realm. I want to create some value that way, as well as numismatic value for these old coins too. Uh, I don't have any particular anything. Right now, It's if I come across a cool coin out in the wild, I look at it, I like it, I buy it. I don't research it till I get home. And that's exactly what we did with these two here today. Oviedo Rare Coins and Collectibles, we've got a couple. Before I do, let me give a shout out. <clears throat> I got a short list. People that are in the challenge, boom, the Kansas Kid, Urban Stackers Den, Kennedy Allen, Jay Parker, Silver Stacker, and Liberty Stacker. Uh, awesome, awesome of you guys to participate. If you are doing the challenge, let me know. I'll shout you out, and I'll watch your videos. Uh, if you're not doing the challenge and I shouted you out, I'm sorry. I don't know where this list came from. All right, new coins. So I picked these up and I use, I have the Coinoscope app and that gives me a rough idea of what I'm looking at, what it is, what its makeup is. So I use that first, I'd show you, but it's on my phone that I'm making a camera right now. Uh, but we picked this up, 1930, and this is Irish, I know because of the harp. But I didn't know it's an Irish half crown and that it's 75% silver. Now I paid eight for it, I didn't pay 10. And so that was very cool. I'm gonna go into the details of this when we head over to the computer. But let me show you coin number two because I did only pay eight and it's a $10 challenge. I grabbed this little guy. And this is a 1916 and one of the reasons I like this is it's a three pence, United Kingdom. And the three pence has always been kind of a unique coin. Now this is sterling silver, 0.925% silver. Now this guy's itty, it's probably half the size of a dime. A little smaller around, but even thinner than an actual dime. And uh, I paid two for it, I didn't have, look, this old of a coin, I'm happy to pay pay up for it, even if it's a loss a little bit. And they always hook me up over there anyway. So I'm, I'm happy to spread the wealth. So these are my two coins for week three. Let's go learn about them right now. We're going to head on over. Oh, before I do that, let me show you something amazing. Yes, this is a 30 times magnifier because Pirate's Blind. And it's really cool. I don't know if this, oh yeah. So you can see, I mean, here it looks gigantic. To you guys, it probably just clarified a little. Probably not, but look at this. Boom, let there be light. But it's got three light settings so you can find which light works best for you. Now to you guys, it's not really showing up, but to me, that looks gigantic. It looks like it's like four inches around here in, in front of me. Uh, this was only nine bucks. I'll put a link in my description on Amazon. Nine bucks, it holds three AA batteries and it does not come with the batteries. No, I'm not an affiliate. I just like finding cool stuff and then telling you about it. I mean, this thing is hefty. It's probably four inches side to side. So pretty cool. Let's go look these up and talk about them right now. Here we go. All right, here we are where the magic happens. Half crown, cor half crown two shilling, six pence. Numista, these are pretty good for giving you specs. Uh, what's interesting is this coin, and you can't really see that two six there. It actually was worth, in English value, two shillings, six pence so it says 2s6p right there and uh again mine's not there you can barely make out the six if you get the right angle but very cool uh, obviously we have the harp on one side we've got the horse on the other 
And uh, this is just a neat coin. So it circulated from 1928 to 1937. Mine is obviously right in the middle of that, 1930. And uh, some of the neat stuff, it's written in Latin. Seerstat and Iran, that's on the harp side. And the translation is Irish Free State. So Irish Free State is what that means. And again, that's Gaelic Latin. And then as we keep going down, Percy Metcalf was the designer. On the reverse, it is an Irish hunter horse facing left with the denomination below. And it has some script. Leet and Coroin translation is half crown with the two shillings, six pence. And there's the Leet and Coroin, two shillings, six pence. So it's just the, what it is, the, the value of it. Read it, Edge. Mint is the Royal Mint in Tower Hill, London. And that existed from 1810 to 1975. So pretty cool. So then you're like, well, what's it worth? That's all we really care about. Well, AI is a wonderful thing. It says this as of July 12th this year, uh, 1052 would be its melt value. Again, I paid eight. So I'm making money on that. That's a nice piece, well under spot. So very cool. Next up, three pence. And again, I always like the English stuff. My family's from there. Uh, George V is who's on there. But you can see here real well, you can see that three with a crown over it. There's the king. And I just learned somewhere it says Rex on there. Rex means king. Regina means queen. Thank you to English Dave that let me know what was happening there. Uh, 1.41 grams, 1911 to 1920, they made this coin. Mine's 1916, right in the middle. So very cool, uncrowned portrait of the king. Uh, it is scripted in Latin, and it has a plain edge, not read it. So that's kind of indicative of some of those older coins. Um, one twenty second of a troy ounce, 21.8 grains is the weight of the coin. So again, this one didn't run for a long, long time. It's a cool coin though, it's very small. So to have one in any condition at all, and this is in pretty good condition, mine is. I'm really happy with it. So kind of a neat little coin. And uh, let's see what its melt value is. And this one's a little less as I scroll through here. If it gets me to the size of mine, 1.4138. Melt value is $1.22. And that's as of August 3rd. So a little under melt. I was into that one for two bucks. I was into the other for eight. I'm ahead overall. And I have two new pieces for the collection. So that's my week three numismatic challenge. I'm stoked to have them. How'd I do? Do you have these coins? If you have them, let me know. Uh, if you're participating in my challenge, let me know. I am making new poker chips and anyone that's participating, I will be sending that with my stickers and swag to you. So make sure you hit me up, piratestacker at gmail.com. We'll be happy to take a look. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. These things are fun to do with you guys. And I got to tell you, everywhere I go now, I'm looking for these cool, old, unique coins. And I'm finding them. When you start looking for them, you find them everywhere. So I've actually bought a few things here and there. We'll fill in some gaps down the road if I miss a week. But uh, it's exciting stuff to fill the box and see how it looks. And uh, yeah, we're going to put these with the others. Thank you all for watching. Please like and subscribe. We'll see you all next time. Pirate out. Arg. <laughs>